Hello, this is Ethan. Welcome to more Let's Play The Legends of the Ocarina of Time. Last time we finished up the Fire Temple and destroyed Volvagia. And this time we are actually going to get started on the third of the five temples in this game, which is the Water Temple. So let's go and play that wonderful song, shall we? I forgot the, the pattern of the song. Fuck me. I'm sorry. Oh, God. I have not recorded the, any uh, footage of this game in about a little bit over a week. And so I'm going to be a little bit rusty, which is not good considering we're about to take on probably the most difficult dungeon in this game oh my god i cannot for the life of me get it right okay i got it there we go so yes we're going to be taking on the watcher temple now as a little bit of an explanation i want to clear out that i am in no way enthusiastic to do to do this dungeon even though fire temple is one of my favorite not dungeon temples in the game i will say that i get pretty freaking annoyed when it comes to the water temple, which comes immediately after it. It's my, this is definitely my least favorite dungeon in the entire game. We are gonna be underwater, so I'm gonna put on the water tunic. Put that on. So uh, yeah, we can go down there. And now to enter this dungeon, we are going to need to fall down here and hopefully not die in the process, okay. And uh, we're going to want to go then now and uh, put on our iron boots. Let's go and put these on right now and not fuck up completely like I just did. <laughs> okay, all right, put them on. Let's sink down to the bottom. We'll face and sink down into our crippling depression. That's terrible, I'm sorry. And we wanna hit the switch with our hook shot right here, which will ultimately open up this gate and will lead us into the water temple. Let's go. This is a Zelda game, not a Mario game. But anyway, yes, we are now in the water temple. First. Now we're gonna to wanna to take off our boots, iron boots. The annoying thing about this, one of the main problems with this dungeon is the fact that we're constantly going to have to open up and close the title screen, the, the menu screen just to take on and off the boots. And uh, yes, this is the dungeon, as you can see right here. Um, as you can see, it goes in kind of like a three level as well as a uh, clockwise kind of formation where we're gonna be mostly like moving in a clockwise formation around these rooms because there's three floors and there's four gateways on each and in, uh, in the north, south, east, and west for each floor, which can be a little bit convoluted at times. But uh, first, we're going to want to go and go through this area because that's the main place we're going to want to go to first. All right, so let's go and take care of that, shall we? And another reason is just this is a very convoluted and, and confusing and time-consuming dungeon, so this is why that's why it's one of my least favorite. Oh, you. If I'm right, Seether? Yes. You're Seether, aren't, aren't you? Yes, I am. It's me, your fiance, Ruto, princess of the Zoras. Oh God, we're married <laughs> in his face. I never forgot the vows we made to each other seven years ago. You're a terrible man to have kept me waiting for these seven long years. Okay, to the view, to my male viewers, or, or straight male viewers out there. A little, I even though I'm bisexual, but still. A little man on man talk here. If you have a girl or a fiance that, hasn't, that has been waiting for you for seven years, she's passionate, she is. But, considering this is like a specific stance with Princess Ruto, she's really fucking crazy. I'm just saying, dude. Like, really. Anyway. But now is not the time to talk about love. Please, I do not want to talk about your potentially crazy stalker kind of thing. I'm sure you've already seen it. Zora's domain totally frozen. A young man named Sheik saved me from under the ice. It's Zelda. I'm sorry. Spoilers. But my father and the other Zoras have not yet... I want to save them all. I want to save Zora's domain. You, you have to help me. This is a request from me, the woman who is going to be your wife. Seether, you have to help me destroy the evil monster in the temple, okay? Jeez, okay. Inside the water temple, there are three places where you can change the water level. I'll lead the way, follow me quickly. And we must follow that way up to her by taking off our iron boots and floating up there. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that like, if we ever like further see like the the like you know the love life or the love Princess Zora has for Link in this game, which we don't see, I feel like it would just remind me a lot of like Helga from Hey from Hey Arnold, you know, just this Helga being the little crazy person she is for Arnold and punching that one kid with the glasses and the orange shirt just because he's just creepy unintentionally. Poor kid, poor guy. But yeah, first we're going to want to go in here because this is going to contain our first key. There are a lot of keys in this dungeon. I will point that out. And now we're going to take care of these enemies. You have to touch them with something. You can even like hurt yourself in the process. And after they're um, closed down these rock formations, then you can destroy them. 
quickly uh, slice. Doop. Oh, what the fuck? Come on. There we go. With that, we now get ourselves our first treasure chest. Pretty nice. And this is going to contain, I believe, our map, so that's going to be pretty cool. Now, I'm not going to deny, like, I, I said it's annoying dungeon. I'm probably overestimating how, or like, amplifying how terrible this dungeon is. It's a bad dungeon, in my opinion, but, but it's not, but it's not like the worst thing ever, like, really. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. But, um, I'm just saying, though, like, it's just, like, the process, after you get used to it, you get used to it, but, like, just the process and the feeling of, like, oh, I gotta take on the water temple again. It's just, it, it, it sucks, like, really. Maybe it's just my attitude or so, I don't know. I'm kind of a bitch in that sense, but, you know. Okay. I constantly say you know a lot, like, what the heck. But, uh, yes, I forgot to mention these, uh, Triforce, uh, signs where you have to play, uh, uh, Zelda's Lullaby. Um, this will raise, there's three of these, and they will each raise or lower the water level in this area, so... We definitely do need to go down there, but we can't get there one point. Maybe I can glitch it out if I'm lucky. I fucked it up badly. Maybe I could have went on a side and did that, but oh well. I'll just show it the normal way I'm supposed to, but you know. I keep saying, but you know, like, what the heck? Okay, I'm gonna get out my trusty arrows. We're gonna want to hit these, um, these two fire blazes right here. That one. Get this. Okay. Gotcha. Here we go. I believe there's going to be some arrows in here. Yes, there's one. Slash that one as well. Got a bunch of bundles of more arrows. This is going to contain our next key that we definitely need. So, for a second I almost had a thought about skipping it, which would have been bad, but you know. Like, okay, there's seriously... Someone please comment, like, how many times I've said, but you know, in this video. The, the results may be shocking for me. If it's in, like, the double digits, it'll definitely be shocking for me, personally. What the heck? I cannot destroy these guys. I don't know. Can I use arrows? I'm not sure if I can use arrows on him. Okay. Come on. Open up your mouth. Thank you. I always just use... In my practice run, I just use the, um... I use the hook shop. I didn't know about arrows until just now. So, good way to experiment with it. It's a, it's a lot less complicated than a hook shot. It's a lot faster too, so we got our next small key. We're good. Nice. Now we're going to, uh, you know, take our way back to the main area. Now I kind of like to go in a clockwise formation kind of thing, or so. Like, it's pretty much, it can get a little bit confusing. We're going to do some backtracking eventually, but, like, I usually like to work my way up through each floor, and, like, in each floor, I go in a clockwise formation for each room. I did not mean to get out the ocarina. What the heck am I doing? I don't freaking know, but, uh, yeah. Now that we got this, we're going to go take and go and get that, and we're going to take off our boots, and we're going to want to float up to here. I'm going to estimate that this water temple, considering how I suck completely at video games when I record, I cannot do that yet because I do not have the long shot. But yes, also because I suck right here. But um, because I suck so much, and also because this is a usually a longer temple, I will... I'm honestly going to estimate that this this water temple is going to take at least... at least six episodes. Because I am just completely awful. <laughs> and I'm slow in video games, I'm sorry, but I am. At least I'm entertaining to an extent, so that's good. At least it makes it somewhat watchable, so yeah. Alright, and we're going to move over here, and we're going to want to push this block with, the, once again, the Islamic imagery or symbolism. So slow, Link. I would take way longer. I'm not as muscular and strong as Link. You know what I mean? Okay. here we're gonna float up here now and now we got this taken care of I definitely want to kill this enemy because he's gonna jump at me when I try to get over there I'm just gonna kill him I cannot I'm gonna get out my freaking arrows okay There we go. I did not do anything, sadly. They didn't do anything? Are you kidding me? Can I kill you? Yes. Okay, I got it. Took two hits. Okay. Uh, we're going to slice this uh, this uh, crystal, which is going to cause the uh, water to raise. I just did that ahead of time because every single time when I play this game, if I don't kill 
that enemy, he will always jump out at me and make me fall down and get damaged. So I just finally thought ahead of it for once, my simpleton mind. But yeah. Right, we're gonna go and get on our iron boots again. And I just selected the regular boots, what the heck. I didn't put them on the right, in the right spot, my bad. I'm gonna put them on right here. Select them right there. So yes, we're gonna wanna stand on here. And now that we got that, we're gonna wanna quickly hit this crystal. And then this gate's gonna be open for a, slight, a few seconds, so we're gonna then hook shot onto this this uh, hook shot area right here, and quickly get in before the door cl closes. And we got it. So yes, good. We're gonna quickly want to float up here, take off the iron boots. The 3DS version of this game, I will say, definitely is superior in the aspect of the water temple. I overall think the 3DS version is a superior uh, version of this game because. Um, because of the fact that, uh, many different reasons, but for the water temple specifically is that you'll have the, the item select screen on the, uh, the bottom half of the 3DS and the, uh, the actual game on the top half. And I like that because you don't have to constantly, like, pause the game or go to the menu and keep switching on and out. And it just, it saves time. It really does. I did, I freaking... <laughs> you thank you and I can't kill you am I supposed to be I was probably supposed to like do something else I was supposed to like hit a switch or something I'm dumb anyway I was supposed to hit that I was supposed to hit that crystal oh god I think I already did I just turned it off or something like that but I didn't need to but you know okay Do 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 do. Okay. I uh, just want to check something on the emulator. Okay. Sorry about that. Now that we got that out of the way. We're going to get out of there. Take off our iron boots. Now we have two keys. So that's pretty nice. All right. I think we're about to come on the end of the episode, so I'm gonna check on this last uh, part of the first floor in just a second. So. Let me, get, let me just get back to where I was. This hook shot over there, so that's good. So we're done with the, this area for now, I believe. I don't believe I'm gonna have to come back here. Cause I got pretty much everything. I might need to be looking at the map a lot more. I'm probably this is probably the only dungeon where I have to remind myself to go and look back at the map when I have when I'm just going in blind or I haven't done it this temple in a long time. So yeah, unlike the other temples, like the other temple, this is definitely like in my opinion probably the most difficult when it just comes to the mapping and such, in my opinion. I'm just doing constant criticism to the water temple, like I, what, what did the water temple ever do to me besides give me frustration and ultimately make me want to quit the game at times, but uh, yeah. It's like, it's not really like difficult in terms of like actual enemy difficulty, it's just difficult in terms of like structure and like it's time consuming, that's what I mean. But yeah, um, am I going in the right direction? Okay, let me just stop pausing like a maniac. Right, do not slam into the wall link, that'd be nice, thank you. Yes, this is a little cracked area right here on the ground, so we're gonna quickly wanna get out our bombs, our bombs, freaking Zelda CDI YouTube poop references for the win. And blow that up and we can go down here, nice. Quickly get out our iron boots again. All right. It's weird, like cat meow noise or something. I don't know. Take them off again so we can float back up. All right. Swim, Link, at a weird awkward camera angle. All right. I do not believe this was something I can do right now. This is mostly just going to be for a gold sculpture, so I'm going to end off once I get this here. And since I have the Begoron Sword, I can pretty much, like, you know, cheat it. Or so. Like, I think the game just doesn't expect you to get the Begoron Sword now, so it's, like, a lot easier. But, um, just want to, like, you know, slash right there. Or maybe it was intentional, my bad, I'm sorry. But, uh, okay, I'm going to get this. Gold Sculpture ran off the episode, so... Do a backflip into it. Nice! And we see <laughs> Link's ass and crotch. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. It's weird as well. So, uh, yeah, that pretty much ends up this episode here. Uh, did I kill him? He's dead. 
Oh yeah, so that's gonna end off this video. So next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're gonna continue the Water Temple, and we're going to move up into probably the second floor of the Water Temple. So thank you all so much for watching. I've been C the Cord, and I will see you guys next time. So goodbye, everyone.